Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm not doing an intro today. I'm so excited. Let's get right into it. I got a delivery in the mail today that I was not expecting. Check these out. So I got my strawberries in. Man, look at those root systems on there. So what I like to do with my strawberries is uh, I go ahead and separate them, give them a little look over, but I need to sit these in some water for just a little bit and uh, let the roots dehydrate some. I mean, dehydrate, rehydrate some. All right, so my strawberries got a good little soak going on. And I also got my persimmon trees today. Now these are seedlings, they call them. So obviously they're, you know, they're small. They're just little whips, but these are gonna grow pretty, pretty quick. Now I won't expect fruit off of these for a few years, but um, that's why in my orchard, I'm, I'm planting stuff every single year. So that way, you know, this year, this upcoming year, my apples should be coming in. Persimmons came in this year, but those persimmons that I have back there right now are Fuyu persimmons. These are American persimmons. So these are the ones that most of us are used to. The uh, Fuyu ones are more like an apple. They don't taste like an apple, but the texture is like an apple. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about these. I mean, this, I, I love doing stuff like this because it's just, um, it, there's no instant gratification with these. <laughs> you you have to uh, take your time and let nature do its thing. So I'm going to get these roots hydrated as well. And then we're going to start um, putting some strawberries in some dirt. Let's get to it. All right, I'm back. I got all my soil in the pots. I'm going to use the same size pots as um, as these strawberries that I already have back there. Um, but very simple. Now, some people will trim these roots off. Um, I would. I don't have my scissors. Hey, how y'all doing out there? <laughs> I don't have my scissors, but um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them in there like this right here. The important thing. Let me find you a good one to look at. Well, you can look at this one. So this right here is the crown. OK, let me get it close tight in there. This is the crown. You can see a the little these little things right here. That's the crown, okay? You cannot bury the crown. If you bury the crown, the plant will die. And a lot of videos tell you don't bury the crown, but they don't show you like how I'm showing you right here. That's why I'm slowing down. You see these little things sticking up right there? So the bottom, the base of that is the crown. So I will, I will plant this so that it's like this. Where my finger, where my thumb is, is where the soil level will be because I don't want to plant that. I'd rather have this too far out of the ground than too far deep into the ground. That is the biggest hurdle that people have with growing strawberries. So make sure the crown is up out of the ground. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> forgive me guys, forgive me, forgive me. All right, so I go ahead and put that joker down in there. And even if I see a few roots at the end, I'm okay with it. <clears throat> Just like that, that crown is completely up and I don't have to worry about a thing. I'll get that watered in, it'll be good as gold. And don't worry if you get your strawberries and you got dead foliage on it and it looks kind of pitiful. Don't worry, these roots are still alive. So I'm, I'm putting a hole right down in the middle so I can get these roots down in there. I don't really wanna ball the roots up. But I get them down in there and I get them covered. Make sure I don't cover up that, that crown. Just like that, that crown's up. All right, so I'm gonna knock out the rest of these. Then we're gonna get some trees up here. All right, so I got them all planted and um, 
I ordered 10, they sent me 14, and I've lost one. I don't know how I lost it, but I'm so excited, you know? So, <laughs> so anyway, I got 13 of them, and they're all planted pretty good. One couple things I wanted to touch on is I did put fertilizer down on these, the 50-50 blood meal and bone meal that you always see me using. And so the, the company that sent me these, I will link to them in the description. I bought them off of Amazon, but um, I bought my last ones off of Amazon. They did great as well. And I was trying to get the same company, but I couldn't find them. So I went with a different company. That last company did extremely well with theirs. So, but these look really good. I like what I got. And um, <clears throat> I need to get some water on these, get them watered in real good with my dram water hose, I mean my water nozzle, <clears throat> and that'll be it. So I'm kind of rushing through this because the, the UPS truck got here late and I don't want the light to run out on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the trees up here and let's get those in. Now, if you can see, these are way different than the strawberries, okay? Let me show you another one. This is a good one right here. See, those are the roots on it right there. And what I tend to do is I fill this up about halfway. And then I go ahead and stick my plant down in there. Now, if you see, there's a there's a grafted part right here. Um, actually, these are not grafted. No, the, these are not grafted. That's just how it twists right there. So I'm not worried about a grafted part being down too deep if you had a grafted one you want that to be up out of the soil but this is not grafted right here this is just the shape of it because all of these would be grafted but it's just a shape it's not a maybe they had something holding it there and that's it grew around it so i can have that below the ground if i want and so i put it down in there like that and i fill it on up Just like that, put some more in there. I want this to be full, full. Unlike the strawberries, I wanna fill up this one as much as possible, just like that. And that, my friends, is gonna be a tree someday. Now, when you get them, you wanna test them. I do the scratch test. I don't know if I'll be able to get this on, on screen or not, but uh, I'm gonna scratch that real quick. And you see that green right there? That lets me know that it's still alive. And now it's up to me to keep it alive. But I bought 20, 21 of these. <laughs> I know it's overkill. <laughs> but um, they had them in, in sets of, you know, uh, well, it was 25, I think. And then they had 50 and then they had 100. So I only wanted, I don't need 25, but I may grow some of these out and, and sell them too. So, but... Anyway, I'm not going to keep you here for all 20 or 25 of them or however many, but we're going to go out here and get some water on these, on the strawberries and on this one right here. And then I'm going to do all the rest of these off camera. All right. So we're going to drown these jokers in some, in some water. Let it settle down. I like to let it seep on down in there like I did with my other transplants and then I give them another one beautiful all right there it is easy easy um so those will grow I'm gonna probably put those at least the strawberries back in the greenhouse when it gets real cold um, but they'll do fine. They, they overwinter here pretty fine, but I'd rather not have to worry about the frost on those. Um, the trees I'm gonna leave outside. I'm not worried about those. They're deciduous trees. The leaves are supposed to fall anyway, and they will, you know, they'll do well over winter outside. So, um, I was going to say something. Oh yeah. So the big, two big differences is I used, um, Fertilizer, the bone meal and blood meal for the strawberries, but I did not for the tree. I don't like to use any fertilizer on a tree when they're small. Um, I just like to put them in soil and let them go. So 
Um, some people put compost. Some people do. I don't. I like to let them just do their thing. You know, um, I won't put anything on those until I put them in the ground, and I won't put anything in the hole. But I will put uh, rabbit manure around the top under the layer of mulch that I put around there. So, um, anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, that was just a quick video. Um, I just got those jokers in. I don't like to leave them sitting around. You can, you don't have to rush, but I figured I had a little daylight left. I'll get them on in. I'm going to get all these in, in the dark. I don't care. The rest of the, um, the, uh, trees, I'm going to get those in, but, um, I just wanted to get a few in to show you how I do it and to show you kind of the differences that like not everything is treated the same. So anyway, if you like the video, please hit like, don't forget the affiliate links and don't forget the Amazon link down below. I do have a new affiliate coming soon and we'll, uh, we'll push that out when, when it comes, but, um, Hey, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it, <laughs> but Hey, I'm blessed here. I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video.